Merov, center of the racetrack, striking Viking out of there for the lead. Quickly at the rail, Kentucky Image, four outside, Ironstone Tornado. Holly gets away next into that fourth spot, two lengths back, and Star King at his fifth. Then it's a gap of three more, critical mass is sixth, and the early trailer is Menelet. They go down the back stretch the first time approaching the quarter pole. Kentucky Image, Mark Capone at the rail, lead it. Hung up on the outside, striking Viking the challenge. A length and a half back to Holly, third, the quarter mile, and 28 seconds flat. They make their way around that paddock turn the first time. It's Kentucky Image showing the way by a little more than a length. Parked every step of the mile, striking Viking the outside next. Holly swings to the outside third, following with cover. Ironstone Tornado on the move fourth. At the rail locked in, critical mass fifth to the outside Star King in. And the trailer is Manolette at the half mile pole. Holly makes the big move for Ted Wing. The half mile 57 and four. In that clubhouse turn, the final time, the battle on the front end here. Kentucky Image at the rail. Holly on the outside. Kentucky Image once again now draws clear by a full length. Holly now sits the two hole. A length and a half back. Ironstone Tornado now third. To the outside, Star King and fourth. Striking Viking backs up fifth. To the outside, Manolette and Critical Mass. There at the three-quarter pole and 127 flat. Heading into that far turn, the final time. Kentucky Image, Mark Capone, there to one to catch a full length. Ironstone Tornado whipping up on the outside to put the pressure on. Two lengths back, Star King and his closing far outside. Manolette comes on. They're in a stretch for the finish. Kentucky Image under the whip now. Ironstone Tornado, the strong horse, whipping up a storm here. Ironstone Tornado in front. Narov, center of the racetrack quickly. Dandy Promise out of there for the lead. Wits ends Heather at the rail second. Dropping in third is Mary Sealster. A length and a half back, Young Wave now gets away fourth. A length and a half back, Precious Marie fifth. Park the outside, John Vic Castle drops in sixth. Then the early trailer is Fitness Flower. They line up down the back stretch to the quarter pole. The favorite, Dandy Promise, Perry Simpson, lead the way by a little more than a length. Wits and Heather chasing that quarter mile in 29 and 3. Heading into that paddock turn the first time. Dandy Promise leads it by two lengths. Wits and Heather comes on next, a length and a half back to Mary Seals to third. First to pull on the outside. Young Wave starts her campaign fourth and on the move. Locked at the rail now. It's a precious Marie fifth to the outside with cover. Comes John Vicastle, sixth in the trailer, Fitness Flower. There at the half mile pole, Dandy Promise leads it. The half mile in a minute, four fifths of a second. They're in the clubhouse turn, the second and final time. Dandy Promise is the one to catch by a full length. Trying to close the gap with Sands Heather is second. On the outside, Mary Seals to third and on the move. Young Wave gets the great trip the outside with cover fourth. Precious Marie at the rail fifth. John Vic Castle and Fitness Flower at the end. They're at the three quarter pole. Dandy Promise has been there all the way. Three quarters in one, 30 and three. Heading into the far turn, the final time. Dandy Promise, Perry Simpson steps on the gas, opens up four and looks for more. The battle for a second here at the rail. Wits ends Heather the outside. Young Wave comes on. Precious Marie is next. It's all Dandy Promise. Dandy in the stretch here for Perry Simpson. Dandy Promise in front. Merov, a happy tross in the center of the racetrack, got it here quickly. Melissa Collins joins him on the outside. Boxwood Girl at the rail gets away next and Diamond today. Around a turn, quickly heading down the back stretch. Duel on the front end here. On the outside, Melissa Collins moving for the lead. Back to second is a happy tross, a length back. Boxwood Girl is third. Two lengths back, Diamond today fourth. Capri Lobel fifth. And the early trailer is Dear Dignity. We've got a battle at the quarter pole in 28 seconds flat. 
It's Melissa Collins and the rail. Happy Tross quickly moving to challenge the lead. Then it's a gap of six lengths to Boxwood Girl third. Three back to Diamond today, fourth. Four more back, Capri Lobel and Dear Dignity. They're in the stretch the first time. Back on top now. Happy Tross makes the front for Luke Wallette and quickly opens up two on the field. Melissa Collins back to second. Boxwood Girl third. First to pull on the outside starts her campaign. Fifth. 57 seconds as that quick half mile. They approach the 5 8 now with just about 3 8 of a mile to go. With the lead, Happy Tross is the horse to catch. She leads it by a full length. Here comes Boxwood Girl to put the pressure on. Melissa Collins back at the rail third. Diamond today gets the trip with cover fourth. Capri Lobel and Dear Dignity. We've got a good battle at the three-quarter pole. Happy Tross leads it. Three quarters in one, 27 flat. Heading into the far turn, the final time. Happy Tross at the rail. Boxwood Girl right alongside. Nose is apart for the lead. A gap of three. Capri Lobel comes on and Diamond today as they turn for the wire. A two-horse battle. On the outside, Boxwood Girl moving for the lead. Battling back. Happy Trust. They'll come down to the wire together. Boxwood Girl, the strong horse to win it all. Boxwood Girl. Nerov quickly on the outside. Super glue. Bluegrass out of there toward the inside. Uh, Daredevil there quickly out of there for the lead. Katie Lafleur gets away next into that third spot. Three lengths back and Artful Mix is fourth. Beats the best. Sterling Escort, Brett Silver, and the early trailer Perry's new song. Around a turn down the back stretch the first time. Daredevil makes the front for Norman Fluet by a quick three lengths. Back to second is Katie Lafleur, two lengths back. And Super Glue Bluegrass drops in third the quarter mile and 27 and two. Around the paddock turn the first time. Daredevil still hangs on to three lengths. Katie Lafleur chasing next, four to five back. Super Glue Bluegrass third. Artful Mix pulls to the outside, fourth and on the move. Beats the best, picks up the cover fifth. To the outside, Sterling Escort, Brett Silver, and at the end, Perry's new song. They're at the half mile and 58 seconds flat. With that lead, Daredevil comfortably by two and a half, three lengths. Katie LaFleur next as they approach the clubhouse turn the final time. Daredevil's been there all the way. Still hangs on to two and a half lengths. Katie LaFleur comes on next. Closing the gap, Super Glue, Bluegrass third. To the outside, Artful Mix is fourth. Slipping up along the inside, Brett Silver fifth. To the outside, beats the best. Sterling Escort, Perry's new song, Trail the Field. They're at the three quarters in one, 28 and one. The field heads into the far turn, the final time. Big move, far outside. Katie LaFleur, Neil Shapiro moving for the lead. Daredevil is next. Super Glue, Bluegrass inches up a close up up third, far outside, beats the best gains ground as they turn for the wire. It's Daredevil fighting back the challenge, hanging on now to a full length. Katie LaFleur trying to get him far outside. Super Glue Bluegrass is coming like a train. Super Glue Bluegrass coming on to win it all. Merov, center of the racetrack, Lady Silver out of there for the lead at the rail. Gaelic Lover moving on the far outside, delinquent account. Getting away fourth is Tambourine and Jasmine Lobel. Around a turn and down the back stretch the first time. Lady Silver makes the front for Billy O'Donnell. Quickly opens up two on the field. A delinquent account now settles in second. Two and a half back to Gaelic Lover third. Tambourine pacing fourth. And the early trailer is Jasmine Lobel, the quarter mile, 27 and 3. Into that paddock turn the first time. Lady Silver cuts it out by three lengths. Delinquent account is next. Four lengths back to Gaelic Lover, third. Moving to the outside, Tambourine starts her campaign fourth. And the trailer remains Jasmine Lobel. There by the stands the first time, straightening out for the half-mile pole. Lady Silver by two lengths. Closing the gap now, delinquent account next. Here comes Tambourine, third on the outside and on the move. Gaelic lover, Jasmine Lobel, 57-2 is the half-mile. 
They whip around that clubhouse turn the second and final time. Lady Silver takes him down the back stretch by a little more than a length. Delinquent account stalking her second. Tambourine third. A length and a half to Gaelic lover Jasmine Lobel. There at the three quarter pole. Lady Silver leads at a full length. Delinquent account next. Three quarters clicked on the board. 126 and four. They head into that far turn the final time. Lady Silver pours it on by a length and a half. Delinquent account is overdrawn tonight. Tambourine now coming on quickly for Harold Kelly as they turn for the wire. Lady Silver under a stiff drive here, trying to hang on. Delinquent account coming back. Tambourine off stride. Lady Silver to the wire in front. Nerov, center of the racetrack, Honey Lobel out of there for the lead, right alongside gaining ground quickly at the rail, Linwood Praise. Getting away next along the inside, Praise the warning, around the turn, heading down the back stretch the first time. On top here, Honey Lobel makes the front for Laurie McKnight a full length. Back to second is gaining ground. Here comes a quarter move. Linwood Praise third, second, and quickly on the move to challenge the lead. Praise the warning is fourth. Along the inside, Bradish Pilot fifth, Delray Queen and L'Etoile. They quarter time 29 and 2. Heading around that paddock turn the first time, the favorite, Linwood Praise and Gary Gibson open up a quick two and a half, three lengths. Honey Lobel is back to second. A length and a half back to gaining ground third. Delray Queen first to pull on the outside, fourth and going up. Picking up the curve of the outside, Bradish Pilot gains ground. Along the inside, Praise the warning. And the trailer is La Etoile at the half mile pole. Half mile paced in a minute and one fifth. And that clubhouse turn the final time. Linwood Praise leads it. Pressure here on the outside. Gaining ground. Looks her right in the eye to challenge the lead. Honey Lobel sits the pocket now third. Four lengths back and Praise the warning fourth. Slipping up along the inside. La Etoile, Dalray Queen and British Pilot at the end. There the three quarter pole. Gaining ground. Gains all the ground to take the lead. Three quarters, 128 and two. Heading into that far turn to final time. Gaining ground. Wayne Langile open up three lengths on the field. The battle for second, Linwood Praise and Honey Lobel, three lengths back to Praise the Warning. They turn for the wire. Gaining ground, opens up four and looks for more. Linwood Praise uh, coming on next and Honey Lobel gaining ground in front. Field is on gate. Nerov, center of the racetrack, Trillatown out of there for the lead right alongside. It's its history at the rail. Redhead far outside. Save the Tiger. Getting away next is Lingerie at the rail around a turn and quickly down the back stretch. On top, Trillatown leads it by two lengths. Along the inside, Redhead out there. Also on the outside, it's history third. Save the Tiger. Park the outside fourth. Lingerie is fifth. Two lengths back to the inside to Granny's Garden next. The early trailers are City Boss and Skipper's Or. 27 seconds, the quarter mile. Approaching the far turn the first time, Trilla Town and Joe Marsh lead it by two lengths. Redhead takes up the chase second. It's history parked every step of the mile third. Along the inside, Lingerie is fourth. Parked every step of the mile with him. Save the Tiger with Carmine is fifth. Along the inside, Granny's Garden, Skipper Zor, and City Boss, 56 and 3 is the half mile. They drive their way to the clubhouse turn the final time. Trilla Town still leads it by a full length. Redhead chasing along the inside second. Along the rail, Lingerie third. It's history still parked the outside fourth. Save the Tiger fifth. Granny's Garden has nowhere to go along the inside. Skipper Zor and City Boss. They drive down the back stretch the final time. Trilla Town still leads it by a little more than a length. Redhead chasing next. Lingerie Ray pops out of the three hole a challenge. Three quarters in one, 26 and four. Heading into that far turn, the final time. Trilla Town leads it. Lingerie coming up on the outside to challenge the lead. Redhead back to third. Here comes Granny's Garden, fourth and City Boss.
Cross. They swing home. Lingerie in the center of the racetrack. The strong horse challenging for the lead. Granny's Garden coming quickly. Lingerie. Granny's Garden coming on the outside to win it all. Is on gate. They're off. Center of the racetrack, Mr. White Sox out of there for the lead. Far outside, Dover's Ranger. Toward the rail next is Yankee James along the inside, Stardust McBurr. Around the turn, heading down the back stretch the first time, Dover's Ranger and Carmine open up a quick two and a half lengths. Mr. White Sox comes on second, five, six lengths back, and Yankee James third. Five more to Stardust McBurr fourth, Parmel landing fifth. Musketeer and Village Justice at the end. The quarter mile in 28 and 1. Around the paddock turn the first time, Dover's Ranger leads it by two, two and a half lengths. Mr. White Sox next. Then we have a gap of 10 lengths on the field to Yankee James third. A gap of four more. To Stardust McBurr pacing in that fourth spot, Parmel landing to the outside, Musketeer and Village Justice. There at the half mile pole, Dover's Ranger shows the way, 58 and 1. They're in the clubhouse turn the second and final time, Dover's Ranger by a full length. Mr. White Sox sitting right on his neck, breathing down his neck second. Three lengths back, Yankee James closing the gap third. Six lengths to Stardust McBurr. Parmel Landing moves to the outside. Musketeer and Village Justice to trailer. Midway the back stretch to the three-quarter pole. Dover's Ranger leads it. Mr. White Sox right there. Three quarters clicked on the board in one, 28 and one. Heading into that far turn the final time. Dover's Ranger by a full length. Mr. White Sox is going to take a shot next. The gap of three. And Yankee James. Three more to start us. McBurr. A two-horse battle as they turn for the wire. Dover's Ranger and Carmine under a drive. Lead it. Mr. White Sox coming to him. They'll come to the wire together. Dover's Ranger hangs on to win it all. Neroff, center of the racetrack, smiley face out of there for the lead on the far outside. Pat's flagship, Oscarson, joins him on the extreme outside. Flashy Lobel gets away along the inside next and picks by day. Around a turn, heading down the back stretch the first time. Smiley face leads it. Here comes Oscarson on the outside quickly to challenge the lead. A length and a half back to the inside next and Pat's flagship pacing third. Four to five back at the rail. Flashy Lobel is fourth. A gap of five more. The early trailers are picks by day after midnight, and the trailer is Shogun Hanover. 27 and 3. They pace that first quarter mile. The field straightens out in the stretch the first time, drives for the half mile pole. Oscarson, Jimmy Marone lead it by two lengths. Smiley face back to second, off the rail. Here comes Pat's flagship third and quickly on the move. Shogun Hanover gets the great trip with cover the outside fourth. Locked at the rail, flashy low bell fifth to the outside after midnight. The trailer is picks by day, the click a half and 58 and four. They hit the back stretch the second and final time, paced five eights with just about three eights of a mile to go. Oscarson shows the way three parts of a length. Pat's flagship joins the leader on the outside, a length and a half to two back, and Shogun Hanover closing a third. At the rail now in that fourth spot is Smiley Face. Three wide, here comes after midnight. Three quarters, 128 and two. A good battle in that far turn to final time. Pat's flagship sticks the neck to the good. Oscarson at the rail, and Keystone ha Shogun Hanover coming like a train. They drive for the wire. Pat's flagship leads it. Shogun Hanover, the strong horse on the outside. Shogun Hanover. Neroff from the far outside, HH Forecast quickly out of there, counting sheep early, put to the whip there to challenge. 
At the rail, it's Timberjack next. Three of them quickly across the track, and Stone Island gets away fourth. Length and a half back out to score and Rapid Skipper, the early trailer. We've got a good battle on the front end here. Timberjack now moving for the lead. Here comes HH Forecast once again for Luke Wallet. HH Forecast puts ahead in front that quarter mile and 27 and 3. HH Forecast takes him in the far turn by a length and a half. Into second now is Timber Jack, a length and a half back, counting sheep third. Stone Island off the rail, fourth and on the move. Out to score, is going to pick up the cover fifth. The trailer is Rapid Skipper. Ran a stretch the first time, straighten out for the half mile pole. HH Forecast shows the way of full length. Timberjack saving the ground next to the outside. Stone Island inching up a close third. Counting Sheep locked at the rail, fourth out to score. Rapid Skipper, 58 seconds flat is your half mile. They motor around the clubhouse, turn the second and final time. HH Forecast cuts it out now by two lengths. Stone Island takes over a second on the outside and inching up closer now. At the rail, Timberjack dropping back to third. Out to score, gets the great trip with cover fourth. Counting Sheep has nowhere to go. Rapid Skipper trails. Three quarters, 127 and four. Heading into that far turn to final time. HH Forecast, Luke Wallet lead it. Stone Island trying to put the pressure on on the far outside. Out to score comes on third and Timberjack. They're in a stretch for the finish. HH Forecast leads it under the whip. Stone Island next. HH Forecast in front. The on gate. Narrow off in the center of the racetrack. Temtros out of there for the lead at the rail. Tarpon Lobel on the outside. Kuwait and Skip toward the inside. Promise around the turn, heading down the back stretch. Tarpon Lobel at the rail. Temtros the outside battle early for the lead. Park the outside. Kuwait and Skip third. Promise at the rail fourth. Then it's Sunny Key a length back into that fifth spot. Pocono Fox and right on course. There at the quarter pole, Temtros takes over the lead. The quarter mile, 28 and 1. Heading into that far turn the first time, Temtros at the rail. Kuwait and Skip on the outside. Nose is apart for the lead. Tarpon Lobel is third, two and a half to three back. Promise fourth. Sunny Key moves to the outside fifth with right on course and. Uh, the trailer Pocono Fox. They're in the stretch the first time, driving for the half mile pole. Temtros at the rail. On the outside, Kuwait and Skip still noses apart. The half mile, 57 seconds flat. In the pocket now, it's Tarpon Lobel third. To the outside, Sunny Key fourth. Promise locked at the rail fifth. On the outside, Pocono Fox and right on course. Down the back stretch the final time. Temtros takes him to the back stretch, three parts of a length. Kuwait and Skip on the outside, trying to stay with him at the rail. Tarpon Lobel far outside. Pocono Fox gains ground at the rail. Promise alongside Sunny Key. Right on course is next. Three quarters, 126 and four. Heading into that far turn, the final time. Temtros with the lead by a full length. At the rail, Tarpon Lobel, Kuwait and Skip. The outside, Pocono Fox. Promise looking for racing room. They turn for the wire. Temtros leads it up the rail, Tarpon Lobel, Temtros, Tarpon Lobel up the rail, Tarpon Lobel to win it all.